Morning folks, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters in the Pathfinder School. And what I thought I would do today is, you know, I've never really been big on the unboxing video. However, I ordered a bedroll, and I talked to you guys about this in the last video, to use cowboy camping. I ordered this bedroll because I want to use it with the four-wheeler. I want to be able to use it as an instructor when I've got students in the woods and I'm sleeping out in the woods with them. I also wanted something I could use with my Jeep. Just throw it in there, pull it out, throw it on the ground and get a good night's sleep. So I contacted this company, Born Outdoors, because they had a product I was really impressed with. And it is a self-contained bedroll system, but it contains other components from different companies as well. So when you get it in the box, it's like total assembly required type of thing. I just received it, I just opened the box and noticed that it was all in component pieces. So I thought, you know what? Let's just take this thing down, talk about what I got in here, and then put it together on video, and then we'll go out and do an overnight video with it, testing it off the four-wheeler, because I promised you guys a four-wheeler video overnight camping anyway. So we'll use this bedroll to do that with. Now, here's the thing with this. Um, full disclosure, I paid money for this, okay? This is a small company, small business. I don't expect small businesses to give me things for free. It's just not right. And it gives you a biased opinion on things when you take things for free, I feel like. So what I've done is I've talked to him about a discount and I have gotten this at a discount price, but I still paid well over $500 for what's in this box from my own pocket, okay? So full disclosure on that, this is not a paid promotion of any kind. If I like it or don't like it, I'm gonna tell you. What I saw on video of it, I liked it. I haven't used it yet. We're gonna take it out. We're gonna see how easy it is to put together. Talk about the components in the box and then we'll do an overnighter with it. So let's talk about what's in the box. Okay, now there are several different components to the system and there's different ways that you can order it. Right here is my invoice for $519.81, all right? Paid money for this. So we're all clear on that. Born Outdoors sticker. Always good to give your customer stickers, things like that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this off to the side and pull the components out, okay? This looks to be a ground sheet. I ordered a separate ground sheet for this as an add-on that you basically just put on the ground and put this thing on top of to protect everything in the end, like I use Tyvek. All right. We have a bag here that I don't know exactly what's in it. So again, this is all going to be fresh, right? I believe this is a set of sheets, if I remember right. You've got a set of over sheets that go on the air mattress itself. And I'd say that's what these are. By looking at it, yep, I'd say that's what they are, okay? Here is a Neo Air Micro Pump, air pump. I did order this extra as well to blow up the air mattress that comes with this. This is the overquilt, I'm sure. So this is gonna be good down to probably 40 degrees. And then of course, if you're wearing good clothes, much better than that. But I don't need something that's gonna be four seeds. And if I do, I can just order the heavier overquilt for this system and it'll be fine because the actual air mattress that comes with this is a thermal rest Mondo King 3D. This thing is like, I think it's, I want to say it's over six R value. And it's a huge air mattress. You can see the size of this package, but this whole package rolls down into a roll, not much bigger than this when you're done. It is a full on bed roll. It's not something you're going to backpack around with. This is a bed roll, okay? So you've got the mattress. You have the Born System bag here that the whole system goes into that is actually your bedroll bag. We're going to tear this thing open and look at it too. And then I did order a compressible camp pillow from them as well from Thermal Rest. It's got this pine pattern on the front of it. I've always been a big believer that a pillow gives you a really, really good night's sleep. So I've got that here as well. And we'll take a look at this thing and see how it works. But I think that, uh, it's a compressible pillow, but I don't know how compressible it really is. We're going to find out in the end when we get it all put together. And that's what was in the box. So now, let's kind of set this thing up separately here and assemble this thing. 
we'll start with probably, I don't think we need the ground sheet to assemble it, but I think we need the rest of these components, save the pillow and the pump. We need the sheets, we need the quilt, we need the air mattress, and we need the born bag. So let's get that stuff out and get working on this dude. All right, so this is the bedroll bag itself. It clips just like this. And then you undo it to put your bedroll inside of it. Try to figure out which end is which here real quick. Like I said, first time for me as well. So I'm not positive which end is which, but we're about to find out here. The system reminds me a lot of a swag from Australia. And when I was in Australia and we did a trip there through the national park there, my buddy Gordon from Bushcraft Survival Australia gave us all swags to use. So Iris and I swept and slept in swags every night just on the ground out there in Australia. And it was a really, really good way to sleep for the night. But when I saw this and it reminded me so much of the swag, I was like, man, that's the ticket right there, as long as you've got conveyance to carry the thing, which I do. So basically, this is a box, for lack of a better word. And you can unzip this thing. It looks like it unzips all the way around. One picnic table is not quite big enough for this. You may have to drag another one over. That tells you right there, this thing's going to size because these are six foot picnic tables and it's going to take more than one to get this system put together on top of it. Got a nice Velcro patch right here where I can put a Pathfinder School Worldwide patch right there. It's got the Born Outdoors logo on the outside. This thing really looks nice, man. Okay, so now this thing looks like it zips completely off and if I remember right, you said it does so that you can wash it if you want to. So this part zips completely off of the thing. Up in the top here, the front side, now I got this figured out, this is the front. You got a cell phone pocket, you got a wallet keys pocket, and you've got a gear pocket here for headlights or whatever you want to put in there. So this is definitely the top of this thing. Now I got that straightened out. These here are to put your air mattress underneath of so that it holds the air mattress in place from sliding around. So the next thing that's gonna to have to go in here, obviously, is the air mattress. All right, so I've got this, uh, micro pump here. It's got an inflate deflate on it. You've also got an inflate deflate side on this air mattress. Not a real big fan of the blue, obviously, but you know what? I've got sheets to go over top of that and it'll cover that up. Okay, so here's our inlet side. It's a one-way valve and here is our outlet side. It's just a dump. So we'll plug this onto the inflate side. Now, well, this mattress is blowing up and it's taking a little bit of time I and mean, it's been six or eight minutes already with this little bitty pump. However, I mean, look at the size of that thing. It's smaller than the palm width of my hand. So it's convenient. Two AA batteries, you could use rechargeables for that. The only downside of it I see is it's not rechargeable from a brick, like your phone and your headlamp and things like that. Now it does come with a bag that is actually an inflation bag as well that the mattress stores inside of. I will definitely roll this up inside the bedroll because I'm not gonna, rely on one way to inflate this thing that could fail if the batteries die or something like that. I'm always gonna have this. You never wanna blow a mattress like this up with your mouth because you're blowing moisture into the insulation of this thing. And over time, it's gonna ruin it. You're gonna get mold in there and things like that. So you always wanna use airflow to blow these things up, whether it's an electric pump or whether it's an airbag of some sort. I have a bigger air pump than this that I use in my backpack system for another air mattress but it doesn't have any connections that actually fit this Thermarest mattress. I already checked to see, because I knew it would be faster than this one is, but it's good to see how long this actual little one takes. Because if you got 10 or 15 minutes to wait, which most of the time you're gonna have, this thing does the job. But again, carry the bag. So in the corner of this bedroll, you have a strap that has a snap on it. That snap is made to snap into the corner of this ground sheet to keep it from moving around. Then you just unsnap it when you're done. 
All right, so the way these airbags work is you just plug it in to the air mattress itself. You open it up and you've got the air inside of it, just like this, and then you roll it down. And that forces air into the mattress. So this bag will work just fine. It's just gonna take you a little bit of time to make this happen. Get this thing opened up a little bit further here. You're putting a pretty good amount of air in there with every one of these squeezes. But it's a little bit more labor intensive, obviously, than just sitting there and blowing it up with a machine. All right, so now we got a set of sheets here. One of them is probably fitted and the other one is just a regular sheet. So very much like a regular bed sheet, right? We'll set this one aside and we'll throw this fitted one on. This is gonna cover up the ugly blue mattress. Now obviously you'll have to strip this back off the mattress at least part way to roll the system up because you've got to release the air out of it. All right, so there's our bed sheet. This is starting to look like the Hotel Hilton here. And then we've got an oversheet here. Now, you can see there's tabs on this sheet right here. Those tabs go at the bottom because this innovative system he's got has got it set up so that that snaps into the bottom. I'll show you that in just a second so that your sheet doesn't come up on you in the middle of the night. Okay, so the mattress itself goes underneath these corner loops just like this. So hold it in place. And then you've got a set of snaps here that the actual sheet snaps into just like this to keep the sheet from riding up on you in the night when you close the system. Little innovations like this are what make a product awesome. Just tuck this underneath, just like that, for a moment. Nice tight bed here. In front of that, tucks into loops up here in the front as well. Just like this. To keep the mattress from moving around, like I said. It tucks it right into the front. So the proper fold back here. Be looking for a mint on our pillow in the morning. That bad boy. Okay, so here's our over quilt. And I suspect that it probably has loops on the bottom of it as well. There they are right there. So that it snaps into the bottom as well with the sheet. So that again, it doesn't ride up on you inside the bedroll. He does have another model that's for colder weather, but again, you can just order that quilt separately and you're in good shape.
Now your sheet and your comforter, your quilt, are both snapped into place. You can't ride up. All right, so we've got this whole thing assembled now. We've got our quilt on here. Everything's tucked into the box. Now, you've got material over top of this that we unzipped to begin with. And that material is a stretchy material so that when you sleep on your side and things like that, it doesn't get restricting on you. But this is meant to cover this whole thing and it actually zips all the way around it to keep the contents inside protected until you decide to use it. So that is now a complete system. Let me shake this whole thing down to the bottom. And then you've got the flap on the top for when you roll it up. So now the trick is rolling this bad boy up. The video that I saw on this with the guy rolling it up, did it on the ground. I'm gonna to attempt to do it on top of this picnic table from one end and we'll see what happens. See if I get it small enough to wrap up in this thing good. But I expect this thing to probably be yay big around when I'm done. So I've got to let the air out of this mattress first. Man, that thing feels comfortable. I cannot wait to sleep on this bad boy. You combine that with some kind of a lightweight pillow on that dude, and you got a money shot right there. That'd be like sleeping in a hotel for crying out loud in the woods. Good lightweight tarp over top of that, it's money. Now you probably don't even need, in all honesty, if you look at the bottom of this thing, it's, it's protected, it's waterproof on the bottom. You probably don't need that ground sheet on here. I bought the ground sheet footprint for this thing just to give me a little bit of width on one side or the other. To step out onto in the middle of the night, things like that, put my shoes on, that kind of stuff without stepping directly on bare ground and getting dirt all over my feet before I put my socks on them. So that's really the only reason I did that. I don't think it's necessary for this bedroll system. All right, let's dump the air out of this bad boy and try to roll it up. All right, so the dump valve is on the opposite side of the mattress that the inlet valve is. So I'm just going to uncover that real quick and I'm going to open that dump valve. And that's a mass airflow dump valve. So I'm gonna let that sit there for a minute. And I'm gonna kind of push some air out of it initially. Before I start rolling. Then I'm gonna pull this thing to the other end of the table and start rolling it up. We'll give you guys a shot all the way down the table here. But I'm gonna be way down here at the other end. Like I said, I got two tables here. So I'm gonna start from this end and I'm gonna get her nice and tight right off the bat. And I'm gonna tuck everything to the inside as I'm rolling. And I'm gonna kinda of lean down on it as I go. flowing out of that dude from here. The important part I think here is to get this thing good and tucked as you go. And again, on the ground, this may be a whole lot easier than what I'm doing. But I think this is going to work. Again, I'm trying to keep everything tucked as I go. Just keep a good tight roll.
I'm gonna bring this camera in just a little closer now to this thing. Again, I'm just laying on this dude to get the air out of it. Once I think I've got the air out of it, then I'm just gonna back off of it, put that screw cap back on. Put my mattress cover right back over the top of it. Tuck my quilt in there just like that. Come down here where I unzipped it. Back up just a little bit on it. Zip them up. Just like that. And come in here like this. I've got two clips here, and I would say there's no doubt I could get this smaller than I've got it right now. I don't think there's any question I could get it smaller. But for the first time, I'm not going to complain too hard, especially with rolling it up on a table. Crank this side down. Crank this side down. Got one for the middle here. Just like that. Crank her down. Yeah, I definitely could have rolled that up tighter for sure, but it's not horrible bad. There's our cover. Velcro right there. We can put our Pathfinder Worldwide patch on and tuck our ground sheet strap right in there. Again, born outdoors and again this thing's I maybe mean, not something you're going to backpack but it's not really that bad it doesn't really weigh that much and on the back of a four-wheeler in a canoe side by side in the back of a jeep man that is a golden bedroll we're going to see how she sleeps pretty soon so you can see the carry position of that bedroll if i'm going to carry it over my shoulder into camp it's not bad and again it really doesn't weigh that much i mean it doesn't weigh much at all so, so far, I'm impressed. All right, there it is. Mounted on my four-wheeler. Just wrap the strap behind the cage there. That's right over the top of the front seat when you're in your set. Lean right against that bad boy. Ready to hit the trail. Guys, listen, I appreciate you joining me out here today for just a quick unboxing and assembly of this Born Outdoors bedroll system. Like I said, I was looking for something that was portable by conveyance that I could use all the time. I like sleeping on the ground, throw a tarp over it, throw a bug net over top of me like a military cot bug net in the summertime if I'm worried about the bugs. Other than that, this thing is the perfect ground system as far as what I've seen so far. I can put something together like this myself. I've got several videos on that, but it's not going to be as compact or purpose built necessarily as this system is. So I wanted to give this system a try, and I wanted to show it to you guys. But I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, and for our business, for all our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I hope to see you guys out here one of these days for a class. Thanks, guys.